We all know him as a summer crush and remember him better as a goofy alien kid, but where did he get his start? I'm Lauren Gorris, and this is the evolution of Joseph Gordon-Levitt. On February 17, 1981, Joseph Gordon-Levitt was welcomed into the world of sunny Los Angeles and the Hollywood family business. Joseph's grandfather, Michael Gordon, was a Hollywood film director between the 1940s and 70s. He directed the 1959 Doris Day film Pillow Talk. With a family connection, Joseph started acting at a young age and first appeared in a stage production of The Wizard of Oz when he was just four. At age seven, Gordon Levitt began his TV career, starring in the popular series Family Ties as youngster Dougie. Oh. Hey, you know something? We're good! <laughs> By the age of ten, he was consistently appearing in commercials like this Pop-Tart one taken from 1991. Hold on, Mr. Rushing out the door. You haven't had your breakfast yet. No, I... Oh, I know. Tick, tick, tick. Look, you got time for Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. Joseph got his big break five years later when he won the part of Tommy Solomon on the timeless sitcom Third Rock from the Sun. So you're not asking me to the dance? No. <laughs> As usual? You have no clue. What? Wait, 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 but... Third Rock ran for five years and pushed Gordon Levitt into the actor's spotlight. However, instead of pursuing a career in the family biz, Joseph decided to get educated. He enrolled at Columbia University in New York, where he studied French literature, history, and more. After his three-year hiatus from acting, JGL didn't just ease back onto the Hollywood screen. His role back on set was playing a challenging character, the homophobic Paul Reiner in 2003's Latter Days. Why, you think I wanted to see him get busted? This might come as a surprise to you, but I actually like the guy. Joseph continued to choose dynamic characters to play, shedding the image of the bubbly kid from Third Rock. He appeared in a number of indie films, playing roles from a street hustler in Mysterious Skin to a teenage detective in Brick to a brain-injured criminal in The Lookout. You were a model before. Chris. I was just wondering how you go from being a model to being a case manager. After my head injury, I realized there were more people in the world than just me. In 2009, JGL got the part of Tom in the millennial cult classic 500 Days of Summer, starring alongside the indie heartbreaker Zoe Deschanel. Smells delicious. Oh, honey, that's because it is delicious. I made it myself. <laughs> Ball legal. <eagle. laughs> His performance earned him a nomination at the Golden Globe Awards and shined the spotlight again on the once child actor. That same year, he starred in the big budget G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra, and in 2010, hit the headlines for his role as Arthur in Christopher Nolan's mind bending flick, Inception. You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. The thriller was highly successful, drawing eight Oscar nominations and nabbing wins in four categories. More importantly, though, Gordon Levitt left a good impression on Chris Nolan, who cast him again in the hugely anticipated Batman film, The Dark Knight Rises. If you're working alone, wear a mask. I'm not afraid to be seen standing up to these guys. The mask's not for you. It's to protect the people you care about. JGL's career has continued to skyrocket since. In 2012, he starred alongside Bruce Willis in the time travel thriller Looper and fulfilled a lifelong dream by working with director Steven Spielberg in the acclaimed biopic Lincoln. The only reason they don't throw things and spit on me is because you're so popular. I can't concentrate on on British mercantile law. I don't care about British mercantile law. 2013 saw Joseph's talents on and off screen as he wrote, directed, and starred in Don John. The hype landed his film a spot at the Sundance Film Festival. Critics loved his directorial debut, and they loved his on-screen chemistry with Scarlett Johansson even more. Nah, I'm almost at a Swiffer pads. I'm just gonna pick a few up. <laughs> what pads, what? What a Swiffer. I don't know what that is. You're on a Swiffer? What is that? Seriously? No. Oh, babe, it's the best. You gotta try it. What do you do for your floors? The Don John himself has been romantically linked to stars such as Julia Stiles after starring together in 10 Things I Hate About You. He has also been linked to Evan Rachel Wood in the past. However, the incredible Mr. Gordon Levitt is currently taken. He told shock jock Howard Stern his current girlfriend likes to keep out of the spotlight. I have a girlfriend, but I tend not to really like to talk about it in, in public. In the business or out of the business? I see you as one of these guys you have to have a girlfriend out of the business. She is not in show business. See? Oh, there you have it. The continuing evolution of Joseph Gordon-Levitt. For more on him and the biggest stories breaking right now, stay clicked on CelebBuzz.com.